Go home and count your kids. <laughs> Make sure how many you got. You know, you're going to be in the home all night. Get eh? yeah. you know, up, <laughs>
And you. Thank you. Thank you. you I will fix it. You've been very kind to me. And uh, I, I'll never forget it. Never, right. never, never. Uh, someday. It'll come my way to do you a favor. <laughs> anything at all. Uh, Remember now, no, no, anything no, no, no. at all. Yeah, That's right. wrong. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Mastoni, you are a big fool. Well, I do the good deed like the boy sprouts. <laughs> Tony, you might as well kiss those 20 bucks. Good boy. You'll never see him again. Uh, no. None <laughs> you believe yourself, but uh, that is uh, his honor, the mayor of Avalonia, Pennsylvania. citizens, it is my pleasure to present to you the living answer to all your questions. That impeccable patriot, that paragon of morality, that Washington monument of purity, the Honorable Milton Jarney. Fellow Avalonians, I am not here to talk about myself. I prefer to have my record speak for me. From one end of this commonwealth to the other, Avalonia is being pointed out as a shining example in the fearless enforcement of the law. Our ordinances are more rigid, our prosecutions more drastic than they were ever before. From Saturday night, until Monday morning, every public door in this town is locked. Not even a toothbrush or a vegetable can be purchased. Sunday is Sunday in Avalonia. Monday, the voters will go to the polls and make known the will of the people. Tonight, I shall deliver my last speech in this campaign. I will explain in detail my platform and my program for the further purification of Avalonia. Fellow citizens, I thank you. the devil to pay. Well, what's wrong? You know that roadhouse out on the old Pike Road? Well, of course I do, but that's out of the city limits. I have no jurisdiction over that. That ain't it, Milt. But the opposition found out that a member of your family was out there last night and are going to spring it as a bombshell at the meeting tonight. My family? Ah, impossible. Now, oh, be reasonable. Ed Smith was out there last night, and he saw your wife's cousin, June. She was dancing and drinking. I don't believe it. June Ramsey is a member of your household. That'll sound swell for a reform mayor. Well, 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 are they sure it was June? Ed Smith said he could positively identify her. She was out there with a fellow. Uh, his back was turned, therefore he couldn't see his face. Hmm. You've got to do something about this, Milt. You can't stand for purity unless you keep your own house clean. Out in that dive, was she? Hmm. I'll settle her. I'll settle this whole business. That's it. Live up to your principles. Mm. Uh, you better come along with us. Say, Pa, that was a great speech you made. I'm proud of you. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's the matter? Is there anything wrong? Now, you'll find out soon enough. Now, come on. We're going home. Oh, 
capitano. Eh? Eh, io, eh, il template è l'attivo, eh? Il template. Eh, il fireplace è the same one, eh? Eh, the Sony is set over there, and the, the same big tree. But what do you say? We're gonna stay here, we're gonna sleep in the town. Oh, I like it. It's quiet, and there's no one around. Yeah, sure you like. You'll soon find out this is a good deal more important than biscuits, young lady. Step over there. I've heard some mighty unpleasant things about you. You have? What are they? You were seen last night at Taylor's Roadhouse with a young man. Oh, my soul. Well, is it true? Yes. I don't see anything wrong about that. You were drinking, weren't you? Ginger ale. What was in the ginger ale? Oh, why, nothing. Uh, I don't believe it. Any girl who's brazen enough to go to that notorious place wouldn't hesitate to lie, either. Oh, that's ridiculous. It isn't notorious just because people go there and dance and have a good time. You'll take this a little more seriously before I'm through with you. Who was the young man you were there with? A boy I know. I want his name. I won't tell you. If you know what's good for you, you'll tell me that man's name and tell it quick. You better not be stubborn, June. Living here under my protection, and then sneaking out to vile places with low companions. Who was your partner in sin? Not a partner in sin. He's not a low companion. Maybe a little weak in character, but I wouldn't call him a sinner. Land sakes, before I was married, I never went out in the evening with a man after nine o'clock. Not even with Mr. Journey. I can hardly believe you'd behave in this manner after the decent way in which I brought you up. You didn't bring me up. I was 16 when you took me in. All you've done for me is to make me a hired girl without wages. Why, June, you're not hired help. You're one of the family. Enough hired help to cook all the meals. And enough one of the family not to be paid for it. You're a thoroughly bad girl. Dad. Yes, and Avalonia doesn't want your kind. Bad because I went out to dance and have a good time? Milton, I don't think our Earl ought to listen to this. You're quite right, Mother. Earl, leave the room. All right, dear. Well, now that your son is safe from contamination, what are you going to do with me? What's the verdict? You'll have to leave my house. And I'll be glad to get away from such narrow, selfish people. Get out of my house and stay out. A fine reward for my working these past five years as I have. And not six days a week, but seven. You stopped everything else in the town on Sunday, everything but me. That's the day I start working earlier and finish later. A big breakfast because it's Sunday. Rush off to church because it's Sunday. Hurry home to cook an especially big meal because it's Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And now you put me out of your house because I go off on a harmless little laugh. For fear it might prevent you from being re-elected and married, you old hypocrite. All right. I'll go. You have $2,000 that my mother left me. Well, uh, you can't have it. I can't have my own money? No. It's left for me to decide when you should receive it. And I refuse to give it to you just now. All right. I have a little money. Enough to get away from here. 
away from, from you. Oh, June. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I know you think I'm yellow not to tell, but, but I just didn't have the nerve to. My pa would have killed me for it. He wouldn't have put you out on the street, though. Say you were a peach not to drag me in on it. Better run along. You'd be caught, caught talking to the more leper. Where are you going? Oh, I don't know. I don't care. I don't want your back. I just want to shoot you. Hey, what's the matter? You are more crazy than I think. Then I told her to shoot just to me and nobody else? Hey, Sinanina, don't pay no attention to him. I got scared. Uh, it's a fine man you are. Get scared. A nice young lady like that. Go get her the coffee now. Go on, hurry up. And don't shoot nobody else. Yes, go on, hurry up. Go on. Hurry up, go on. I'm sorry, I... Don't, don't, don't pay no attention to Joe. He's, a, he's a, not a very well. He, he's a little sick in the head, you know. He, he just like a little kid, isn't he? <laughs> Perhaps it was silly for me to be so scared. Hey, what is? He what? He make you cry. Oh, no, he didn't. I was crying when I met him. Oh, you, you got some special kind of trouble, Signorina? Why should I tell my troubles to you? That's the truth. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I make a mistake. I, I know when to do some myself. Okay? I'm called Tony. Antonio Giovanni Raviello Garibaldi Mussolini Camaradonio. <laughs> That, that is one big bread for the name, eh? <laughs> yeah. What name you got, Signorina? Oh. You don't want to tell me your name, eh? My name's June Ramsey. June? June. Yeah, that's a pretty name. <laughs> so don't you want to sit down and... Uh, Take a little rest of my camp. Thank you. You're a gypsy, aren't you? Who? A gypsy. No, Catholic. I don't know, maybe I'm a gypsy too. Sure. <laughs> I like it to walk on the open road and sleep in the night time under the stars and <laughs> but I make no trouble nobody. Now if you tell me your trouble, maybe I'm gonna be a big help to you, eh? well, Never mind my trouble. I I really must be going along now. But uh, uh, the next town that's a long way, about twelve miles from here. Me and Joe we come here this morning. You want somebody to stay here and have a nice picnic uh, supper with us? I'm going to cook a nice coffee, spaghetti Italian style. You know, when you finish, that's all right. You're going to go. What do you say? I didn't know I was hungry. But when you talk about spaghetti, I... What to me? I suppose you're going to tell me after the while you was a hair girl, eh? <laughs> no. 
No, I'm not a servant. No, I bet you my life you're no servant. <laughs> Please let me do something. Make the coffee. Don't you believe you are just the companies for the dinner. Now, you. Now, you sit down there. Answer, you sit down there, please. Eh? <laughs> now, while the spaghetti is cooked, I'm going to make the salad on dressing. Uh, <laughs> and this is beautiful. Eh? Uh, that's the fragrant flower of the Italy. The Italian forget me not. Well, you take it off the overcoat. Eh? Take my one piece like a little one. See? See? See that? <laughs> Push him around the ball. Chuck him out. In. You take the lens. See? Like that one. <laughs> That's good for the inside. Yeah. Take a little for the vinegar. A little bit, not too much. A little for the olive oil. Stingy with the vinegars, plenty with the oil. <laughs> at importation. Yeah. And a little for the salt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> little peps. Then, yeah. and you push them up a little bit. Yeah. And now she's ready for the eat. Well, I'm sure it's going to be awfully good, Mister. Uh, whatever that long name of yours is. Tony, it, that's long enough. But I don't know you well enough to call you by your first name. Then tell me something. What do you believe the way is to get it better when it quicks? Why? I... Well, by talking together, I suppose. All right, then you commence for talk. I don't talk nearly so nicely as you. You talk. Tell me something in Italian. I tell you... Uh... Something in Italian? <laughs> Bambina mia. E vostra faccia come la Madonna. E te doi occhi come due stelle. Credemi, dico la verità. E te occhi gli accendono un volcano di amore nel mio cuore. Te amo tanto, tanto. Te. Oh, that sounds beautiful. I what does it mean? It means uh, you are a nice girl. My opponents are to toss a bombshell at me, which would blow my campaign to pieces. But this bombshell has been turned into a boomerang. You all remember that the good book says, If thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out. Well, when I discovered that a member of my own household had gone to a notorious roadhouse, did I try to hush the matter up or keep it secret? No. A thousand times no. I requested the young woman to leave my house and this town. I listened to the voice of duty only and sent her forth to suffer the consequences of her own sin. And now, Miss June, now we get a better acquaintance. You gonna tell me what's the matter what makes you cry? Everybody can be trouble to Tony. Well, I've been living in Avalonia with some relatives. At first I thought they were very kind to give me a, a home, and, but I soon found out that they wanted me just as a servant. And they never treated me very kindly, but today when they found out I'd gone dancing with a man at a roadhouse, they, they put me out in the street. He push you out in the street just because you dance? 
That's no harm. That dance, that's good. That makes people happy. Of course there was no harm. But my uncle's a very narrow-minded man. He says no respectable girl goes dancing at roadhouses. Eh, uh, you uncle is a she's a big dumbbells. It was his own son who was with me. And his son, he don't got the courage to stand up and defend you in front of his pop? Oh, he's just a boy. He's terribly afraid of his father. You... you like this boy, eh? Yeah? I did, a little bit. He was the only young person around for me to talk to. <laughs> and it was much better that I take the blame. I was so mad at first I really didn't mind. Then when I got out into the street and realized I didn't have any place to go, I guess a sort of a reaction set in. And I, I suppose I was crying. That's good. It's, it's sometimes it's better when you cry when you don't cry. That makes you feel good downstairs inside yourself. I feel much better now, so I won't talk about it anymore. You're very kind. But I'm afraid I must work this out myself. I better stop right now. What's well, Marina? Look, no can I go now? It's too late. It's not safe. But somebody, you know, stay here in my camp tonight. Well, how could I? Oh, carissima mia. With me, you are safe. You're the same like in a church. I'm going to make a nice little bed for you. You sleep a sound. Nobody's going to harm you. Well, I'm sure I'm safe, but... Where would I sleep? I don't see how you could manage. <laughs> you don't see. That's you don't see. And you've got such a beautiful eyes on top of your head. Look. See? The sky. That's the roof for your house. <laughs> and all of those little stars, see? That's all the millions of the electrician lights. In the trees, with a little wind blowing through. That's the walls of your house. Eh? <laughs> the soft green grass. Eh? That's the carpets. And the big moon. Eh? That's the big policeman. You're going to watch him. Guard you all through the night. I wonder why I never noticed that before. <laughs> then you will try my little tail. What do you say? I will. Now, I picked a little bed for you, fit for the queen. Why, oh, that's a wonderful bed. <laughs> and it's so romantic to sleep out here in the moonlight. I suppose you know all about such things because you're an Italian. Ah, no, no. <laughs> the idea that don't come from no special country. That come from a downstairs in the side. One time you get this idea in the head or the heart. I have to stay there all the time. You know, sometimes the romance becomes uh, quick, like the lightning. <laughs> Tell me, Senorina, do you believe in the love at the first lookings? Love is this. I believe because I got him. Good night. <laughs> Thank you for all you're doing for me. That's all right. Sleep tight. Don't worry. You get no harm because I'm going to be here for protection of you. Good night. Buona notte. That's a good night in Italian. Buona notte. <laughs> Pleasant dreams. You don't worry. I get them.
Kapitan. Kapitan. What do you think I do? I follow myself head over the heels for the love. Oh, it is a beautiful Kapitan. I did you ever see such a beautiful eyes your whole lifetime? Did you all that you wonder what face that is Kapitan? Crazy for her. Kapitan. Then he could have stuck with the regatina, regatina, bell, bell. Now you got your cups of coffee, how do you feel this nice, uh, wonderful spring in the morning, eh? I feel wonderful. Did you sleep well? No, I don't sleep hardly well last night. Oh, what was the matter? What it means, June, I got a one big boss inside for me. Always tell me what I must do, what I can do, what I cannot do. I must do just what he said. I guess it's time for me to say goodbye and thank you again for making me very happy. Miss June, I want you to do me a special big favor. Why, it would be very easy to grant you a favor. I'd be awfully ungrateful if I didn't. Miss June, I want you should go back to Avalonia. Back to Avalonia? Yeah, I got a special reason. Oh, please don't ask me to go back there. Yeah, but Miss Joan, it's a lot of sad for a young girl like you to be going around and buy. She's a sailor with nobody to protection her. And that's another thing my big boss is telling me. He said, Tony, you must take Miss Joan back to she's home. I can't. <laughs> what, Miss Joan? I got a special friend over there. He'd do anything for me. And I'm going to fix it. You're going to be happy once more with your relatives. That would be impossible. Well, you don't know who is this friend. This friend I got is uh, the, uh, his honor, the mayor of Avalonia. <laughs> no, what do you suppose from those? Eh? Why, why, he's my uncle. The man who put me out of his house. My friend, the mayor, he said to you, Uncle, he push you out from the house because you then? Well, don't worry, because when he see me, I gonna fix it. He gonna open up his arms and welcome you back. He gonna say, I apologize, Mr. George, you see. Eh? <laughs> He'll never apologize to me. You don't know him. Eh, but you don't know what I know. Hey, that mayor is gonna eat on top of my hand. Great, the methodical evidence in your... Oh, excuse me, I forgot, I don't understand my language. You know, I helped that mayor out one time in New York myself, and he's got to be good to you. He may be a great friend of yours, but he certainly isn't a friend of mine. Why, he even refused to give me the money my mother left me. What do you mean? He keeps some money that belongs to you? I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have said that. How much he, he keep? Please, tell me, please, how much? Oh, it doesn't matter how much. It was what my mother left me when she died. Hey. Would this mayor is going to treat you good when the Tony's pick to him, eh? <laughs> Now, never run away from the trouble. You snap your finger and the trouble will run away from you. I don't know what to do. You hear the church bell? That's funny, yeah? You shouldn't go back to Avalonia today. They, they won't let you play your organ on Sunday. And if you do, they'll arrest you. <laughs> ah, non you believe you say it. I got a special influence over there. I'm going to play my organ over there, and nobody she going to bother me, and I'm going to no trouble at all. Mm -hmm. 
Then goodbye. Because I'm going the other way. That means, you, when you don't go to Avalon with me, then I'm going to change it up all of my plans. Huh? Oh, no, you mustn't, you mustn't go out of your way for me. Then you, you will go, eh? All right, then, so you, 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 you will go, huh? <laughs> no, you can. Hey, Joe, you get in the back seat. You go on. But I, I have a premonition you shouldn't go. What do you call a premonition? It's, it's a feeling inside of me. Oh, you big boss in there? Well, don't pay no attention to that guy because I'm going to fix it up with this man and I'm going to drive right up in front of his house and play. They won't let you. It's against the law. Yeah, we care for the law. What's the matter? I got a special tune. I'm going to play. It's a Sunday tune. <laughs> what do you think it is? Onward. Christmas soldiers. Get up, Gavidan, eh? Get up, Gavidan. Go on. Hey, go on. Up, go on, Gavidan. Get up. Get up, Gavidan. Hey, Mom, what's all that racket out there? There's a hurdy gurdy man in front of the house. A what? A hurdy get in front of this one? Well, I'll soon fix that. <laughs> You can't arrest him. He hasn't done anything. He only wants to see Mr. Johnny. 
Why, Joe Ramsey, the very idea. Say, how did you and this tramp get together? He's not a very nice gentleman. Why, you brazen hussy. Oh, please, senora, please, please. That's not a nice thing to say. That's a, they say about this, and that's a nice girl. She must be to pick up with riffraff like you. Hey, what do you mean, riffraffs? Shut up. Come along. Mr. Ripple, uh, please. Don't, I... don't, worry, Mrs. John. don't worry, this is jail. They don't hold me too long. <laughs> hey, Joe, you take the car and come down and away from me in front of the jail. Say, when the mayor finds this out, believe me, they're going to spoil it the whole day. <laughs> hey, and don't push me. Ask me. You heard what Mr. Johnny said, and I guess you'd better go. We don't want you here any more than we want Italians. Oh, you're both impossible. Who had a fight? Here, 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 children. Get on home now. Don't hang around the streets on the Sabbath day. Start. Get going. Hey, see, please, you're not calling me wax, the boss. You're not calling me wax. I'm a fully special follower. It's a very good time to be lost, too. It'll be 30 days before you lose, baby. God, that's it. Hey, look. Now, you look like a nice gentleman. You've got a nice smile on your face, and uh, I, I got a big friend in this town, and I want to make little talks on the telephone, and uh, you do this for me, and uh, I'm going to fix it for you. You fix me. What is it, eh? That's all right, eh? <laughs> well, I guess you're done with that. That's the phone. And it's for... Oh, cute phone, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Okay. Centrale, uh, push him up and down, please. Uh, uh, the nickel? Uh, the nickel is going downstairs. No, I said the nickel is going downstairs. So you're going to uh, push him upstairs and it goes down. Come uh, oh, you're giving change. Eh? The grass, the grass. Yeah. Yeah. But number one, well, let me see. I want a Calamadon tree. Two times around with a head. No, two times around. Two times around. Look like a little donuts. I don't know what you call it in English. I said, of course, the picolina come up, pepperon, and come to the American. I said, oh, I forgot. You don't speak my language. You, I hate. I'm Italian, fellow. Yeah, Italian. I said, no, call me what? Huh? Irish? Oh, that's all right. Irish people is all right. Give me the number. What? Eh? All right. All right. Hold up. Eh? Hello. <laughs> Yeah, 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 so the, yeah, hot? Yeah, so the, the, uh, the, don't go away, don't go away, don't go away, hello. Hello, man, of course, the, the operation, I was talking with a gentleman, and you, somebody over there, I know it's a gentleman, some woman. Some lady, you, you, you cut him up. No, I was talking with somebody, and you cut him up. Push him back where they were standing before. Get out of the way, they're coming out, they're coming out. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, the operation cut you up. She cut you up. No, she cut you up. Hello. I can hear. Turn up your phone. Why don't jiggle up your hook a little bit? I jiggle up mine, jiggle up yours. Well, that's better. Now I can hear myself pretty good. Hello. This is the, this is Mrs. Mayor? Mini? Mini who? Mini who? 
I don't know what you mean. I know I want to talk with the mayor of this place, the head man. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The head of man. I said, what's the matter? You can't follow the mayor like that. I know he was going to call him. That's the mayor. He's a good friend of me. He's a good friend of me. He likes to talk with me. What is it? Signore, I said, you don't can do this to me, Mr. Police. I said, I said, poor Commissary Landage. You can't go to the syndic. How do you do, Mr. Ramsey? Something I can do for you? I want to speak with Tony Cameradonia, please. Oh, you mean the WAP over there? May I speak with you? Oh, sure. Joe. <laughs> Look out, he don't talk to the dad. Oh, Mr. Joe. Oh, Mr. Joe. Tony, I'm so sorry. I knew this would happen. That's why I didn't want you to come to Avalonia. Oh, that's all right. That must be one of the big joke. Uh, tomorrow I see the mayor. I'm going to fix them all up. <laughs> but that's just it. I saw the mayor. Oh, you see the mayor is all fixed up, eh? It isn't all fixed up, Tony. He said he didn't even know you. Oh, this is me? He said he didn't know me? You tell him I was his friend, Tony Camaradonio from New York? He still said he didn't know you. Did he? He said he don't know me? Yes, and that he wouldn't do anything to help you. Maybe you had him confused with some other man. Yes, you know, I don't got a confuse. I got a double ups cross. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have let you come. You only did it for me. Tomorrow I'm going to do everything I can to get you out. <laughs> you know, Miss Jones, this jail is not such a bad place after all. <laughs> Miss Jones, you think I'm just a hardy girl, this man? Eh? I got a nice flower shop in New York. And pretty soon I'm going to quit work. I'm going back to Sorrento, Italy. I got a nice little house over there. Little oranges groves and some grapes vines. Make the wine. <laughs> you know, I got something I like to tell for you, but uh, I'm not gonna do when I'm in jail. <laughs> I guess I want to big fails to help you, Mr. <laughs> I think you're a big success. If you don't copy oh actually. You don't understand my language. I, I can't explain. I, <laughs> what I want to say, I got, I got him up here, but he won't come down there. <laughs> I, Tell me, Tony, have they given you anything to eat? That's tomorrow, mother. That you don't give me nothing. Pretty soon, you don't give me something. I'm gonna starve myself to the death. <laughs> well, we can't let that happen. I'll go out and send some food back with Joe. I'll get as nice a dinner as I can, but it won't be as nice as the one you cooked for me. Oh, Miss June, you are a sweet girl to this for Tony, eh? <laughs> sweet to the... Uh, order two dinners. I am a hungry, just like the horses. Tell him I've gone to a girlfriend's and I'll see him first thing in the morning. Come on, Joe. Tony's hungry. All right. Over here. Ooh. Take it Ooh. in. Nice big house. Oh, Joe! Hey, 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 Joe! Hey,
So well after all. Well, hello, George. Hello, Emma. Can I see Mel? Why, yes, come right in. Oh. Hello, George. I thought you were sick. Well, I, I'm all right now. Say, what about that Dago organ grinder? I got him locked up in the jail. He's nutty. Keeps saying he's a friend of yours. Well, you keep him locked up till after the election, see? Okay. Now, don't, don't let him talk to anybody. I'll tell what a crazy man like that will do, and when his sentence is up, you run him out of town at night. After 30 days in our jail, he'll be glad to go day or night. Well, I got to be going. I ain't had my dinner yet. I'd do better, Mel. So long, George. Glad you came. Well, Mother, I've got you got something nice for dinner. See, too, I'm allowed to get any small folk, you see? Well, how is my friend of the mayor, eh? Well, how do you do? I, uh, well, step right in. I come in by the door. Can you beat that? Your pa's inviting that foreigner in here. It's funny time you got. You're gonna tell me that I come to see you, nobody believe me. Well, <laughs> think right. a policeman catch me and push me in the jail. No. Yeah. <laughs> I kick like a cow. I thought of you was a big friend of <laughs> <Yes>. me. <laughs> and, and, and my wife and my son. And this is Mr. Uh, Camradenio. Uh, an acquaintance of mine. Uh, from uh, uh, New York. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm glad to meet up with you. Eh? <laughs> uh, um, oh, this is this uh, fine boy who is the son of the mayor. Eh? How do you do? Yeah. <laughs> That's a funny thing, though. I met your husband in yes, yes, New York. Yes, yes. <laughs> but uh, before we go into that, uh, 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 won't you join us? Uh, we are just eating. What? Well, you want me to sit down with your family on top of the table here for... Uh, Why, certainly. Oh, that's so pretty sudden, man. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't had dinner yet, have you? No. Well, then, sit down. Well, 
<laughs> that's, that's a funny kind of police when you got it in town. <laughs> that's the difference than New York, eh? You remember that the big uh, Irish policeman, uh, McCaffrey, or McCarthy, what do you call him? And, uh, and we meet the one in the morning. Well, 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 won't, you, won't you have some jelly? <laughs> Say, uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, since you never told your wife about how we get acquainted in New York and about the overcoat? Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Will, will you please go and get Mr. Camiodino uh, some coffee, please? Uh, <laughs> have a fork and, and uh, here's some bread for you. Right, I tell you, Northern Grinder broke out of jail and he's going down to shoot the mayor. Hey, he's the captain and his partner, the two guns. Why talk about it? Go and get him. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, That's pretty good coffee you got in your house, Mr. Mayor. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Hey, that was pretty good uh, coffee. We get my Italian friends a uh, cop's coffee shop in New York that day. You remember when? Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. The yeah. night nice day. <laughs> Music with my meals What's the matter out there? What is the cause of all this disturbance? Why, we thought that lock was going to kill you. Yes, he shot his way out of jail. And we thought he was after you. Oh, my friends, my friends. I'm in no danger. This Italian uh, uh, gentleman is an acquaintance of mine. And uh, his arrest was really a very unfortunate mistake. <laughs> See, I told you the mayor and me was just like that. Didn't you? <laughs> it is quite true. He played the organ on Sunday. But then, uh, he's a stranger. And he does not know our law. You see, I believe we're going to fix everything up for it. <laughs> the uh, the uh, hold-up uh, was a joke. And the guns were merely cap pistols. <laughs> they were what? Cap pistols. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, uh, my friends, please. Please remember that it is Sunday. Disperse quietly and return to your homes. And God bless you. Good day, Mayor. That's right. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you'll be uh, moving along now. Yes. I go pretty soon. But before I'm go, I got something I want to talk to you about. Uh, I uh, sure. Uh, uh, mother, uh, you and June better go into the house. I I, I want to talk to Mr. Uh, Camera uh, Donio. Well, what is it? You are a big fellow, huh? Big mayors. Big friend. But, uh, Signore, 
I don't think you treat Miss Jones pretty good. Oh, 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 that, that's what you want to talk about. Yeah. And uh, when Miss June gets back to her home, and this uh, inheritance of money, that she's mama leave her, and uh, you treat her pretty good, I'm going to go, and I don't say nothing to nobody. But when you don't treat her good, please, please. I suppose I, I was a little hasty. Gee, I'm glad you're back. I missed you like the dickens. I thought you were never going to come back. Let's just pretend it never happened. In fact, I'm quite sure I was hasty. You see? I've always had big plans for June. And uh, my son seems to like her rather well. And I'd always hoped that... Uh, <laughs> well, I'm sure you know what I mean. Yes. I know what you mean. It's a fine big American boy, yeah? Great to be a fellow. <laughs> hey, someday you're going to be a big man like your pops. Be a big man. Marry a beautiful girl. Hey, make a good husband. Good husband. And you, Tony, what are you going to do? Oh, man, that's right. I go back to the open road, me and George, Capitano. Christopher Colombo with the Hardy Guardians and live like the gypsies again. <laughs> Will that make you happy? Happy. <laughs> today I got lots of happiness today. I have lots of good foods, hear lots of beautiful music, meet a wonderful girl. <laughs> and this dream I got in my heart all these years uh, had to come true. Tomorrow? <laughs> Who knows, eh? And aren't you ever coming back again, Tony? Oh, sure, I come back someday, yeah. <laughs> well, that's so much obliged. Goodbye, Mr. Mayor. Mrs. Mayor. <laughs> Little Mayor. But if you, I, I don't say goodbye. <laughs> I just go. Please. Don't forget. When you are good to Mr. June, and you treat her nice. I don't say nothing. I just go. But when you are mean to her, I come back and I tuck my head off. Gracias. Come on, Joe. Well, Joe, once more we take to the open road, the green fields, the woods, the stars. I got nothing left but sweet memories. And I'm much obliged. Uh, go. Go, Kavidan. Go. Oh. Oh. 
It's going to be a beautiful sunset. I don't know. Trouble with those people that kick you out again? No, Tony. No one kicked me out. Well, <laughs> I don't know. What's the matter? I guess I'm too thick upstairs in my head. <laughs> Tell them some more. What's this? What? I'd rather be here than any place in the world. Well, my good time. I am dying with a sadness, and now I could have killed the whole world. <laughs> Not the whole world. Just me. Hands up. Well, shoot. What the heck I care? Already I am in heaven. 